Alright you guys, I finally got the Sense UI to work. Um, now this, I was only able to do this by doing a compl I tried a hard reset, that didn't work. Um, so I just had to completely just flash the ROM again. So I had to start from scratch and since I haven't really done anything besides um, just load up my carrier settings, um, yeah, this is just basically untouched right right as of now. But I figured out why this lags so much because the Sense 2.5 UI was designed and optimized for the HTC Leo or the HD2 that it is most fondly known as. And just to give you some specs, the Touch Pro 2 has um, 512 megabytes of ROM and 288 megabytes of RAM. Now, compare that to the HD2, which has the uh, with which has one gigabyte of ROM and 576 megabytes of RAM, also with a one gigahertz Snapdragon processor, as opposed to this, uh, the Touch Pro 2s. Um, Qualcomm uh, 528 megahertz processor so it's literally double and that's why it's running this will run at full capacity around you know using about 70 percent where on the HD2 it would only be running you know maybe about half so this would be normal for the HD2 um, so just take, uh, taking a look at it, you guys see very nice new interface, new icons, um, a new Twitter add-on. You see, I can you guys can see my uh, my friends' quote-unquote tweets. Um, uh, also footprints, and there's Manila TV player. I just haven't. Um, added that tab in yet but I removed two tabs I removed the stocks tab for one I don't use it and I removed the people tab because that was the thing that pushed it over and just made it go into overdrive on me so um, I just you know got rid of that so it's no longer down here because all I have to do is just hit the uh, talk button and I can um, go in but this, since this is the unmodified version you see you have an options for video call which is obviously impossible because there is no front-facing camera um, so all, all that happens is if you try to dial a video call all the screen pops up with the interface on it and then it just says there was an error and it disconnects you um, so I have to install the um, the Leo 2G dialer, which helps because um, it's for only for T-Mobile US and AT&T because obviously the the US carriers don't um, support video calling. Um, so what else do I want to show you guys? Yeah, but other than that, still pretty much the same. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Any questions, comments, please feel free to leave them.